there has been some major updates in the AI space recently with new upgrades to Notebook LM perplexity in the video editing space, the canvas of Tiber AI. AI has incorporated all other major video editing tools on its platform. Today, among all of these, I want to compare two of the tools that can heavily help us, whether it is our learning or our work or SEO search or other aspect related to learning and productivity. These two are Notebook LM and Perplexity. Now, Notebook LM is a completely free tool from Google that everybody is talking about right now. And in my opinion, the fame is for good reasons. I have made a complete tutorial of Notebook LM and its features, and I will link it in the upper left-hand corner of this video and also down in the description. Now, Notebook LM has lost its experimental tag. It has a new look and here, there is a business option. If we click it, we find this portion and all these capabilities that it is mentioning, I have already covered in the video that I have made. I will link it here. We can click this join the pilot button. The business portion has more security. Now, Notebook LM is an app that uses the information that is provided to generate its content. And one content that it generates is a podcast with two hosts. It has a very little window for hallucinations. But that hadn't been said, there are very small amounts of hallucinations in the podcast that Notebook LM generates. So just giving it a once over is advisable before publishing the podcast. The new update is this customize option. Before, this customize option was not present. So if we click this generate button, it's just going to generate a podcast like it did before. But if we click the customize button, there are choices to customize how we want the podcast to come about. Here are some examples of what the instructions can be. So I have tried to change the length of the podcast to shorter and longer, but that doesn't always work. We can change the tone of the podcast from funny to deep or otherwise. So let's just create a new note. And I'm going to add pages from complexity as sources to this notebook. Go to blog of complexity and bring some of the URLs of complexity into notebook. Yeah, they are. Now I'm going to click customize and I'm going to ask the podcast host to be funny but informative and target digital marketers, online sellers and SEO experts. I'm going to hit generate. This is going to create me a podcast and we'll see how much it has followed my instruction. And it is done generating. It took about 30 seconds, but it could be my internet connection. Now I'm going to press play and see how Notebook Ellen has done. All right. Anyone out there who's ever spent maybe a little too much time on AREFs, you know who you are. This deep dive is for you. We're talking perplexity today. Yeah. It's the AI search engine that's not just finding needles in haystacks. It's building you a whole new haystack, but threaded with gold. And it's about time. In the world of digital marketing, who isn't tired of digging through haystacks, right? Right. Perplexity is seriously changing the game, offering these tools that go way beyond your basic search and get into some really useful AI-powered insights. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it is a very casual tone of conversation, but it is informative as well. And like I had instructed, digital marketers have already been mentioned here. They have been on a roll lately. New features, upgrades like perplexity pages, which let's be honest, sounds way more enticing than that monster spreadsheet you've been using for market research. That was interesting. Now, I had given Notebook LM the links to the blog post for the Perplexity Pages, Perplexity Pro features, Perplexity Enterprise features, and also the new Spaces feature. But if you can remember that Perplexity Pages features came a long time before the Spaces features. And Notebook LM has correctly guessed that and is talking about the Pages features before it talks about the other things, which is awesome easy to understand and you can share it with clients it's like magic but instead of pulling a rabbit out of hat it's like you're pulling i don't know 
actionable insights out of thin air. Exactly. And think about it. That's huge for establishing yourself as a thought leader, boosting your whole content marketing game, even SEO. All right. So we have SEO as well. So I think it has gotten all the points that I wanted it to. And if for some reason or don't like the podcast that was created, if it has some information that Norbu Kalam has not understood correctly, then we can just click this button and delete it. And we get back this option or we can customize and regenerate again. Now, I always say it is a much loved feature of Notebook M that Notebook LM uses the sources we provide it to come up with its answers. So the answers are much more accurate. And adding our own sources is exactly what perplexity has done. But a little prefix to this is that to add our own files, we have to be on the pro plan. It is not available in the free plan. To access this feature of uploading our own files, we have to go to the spaces option. Now, spaces is nothing but a way of organizing the chats that we have with perplexity. As we can see in this library feature, we have all the chats that have started with perplexity. And if we go to spaces, we can see these are the two spaces that I had created. If we click here, we can see that this, what is the mindfulness question is part of this space. Let's go back to the spaces and click this medical study and research option. And we can see that this define analgesics and how to calculate dose for general, general anesthesia a part of this space. Now let's just create a new space. After creating a new space, we can give it a name, we can give it a description, give it an emoji, and some custom instructions. Now I'm going to click continue. So this is the new space. If I click here, I will find this option. And right here is the option to upload files. If you are not on the pro plan, clicking this plus button will not show this window, but bring up the pricing plan to choose our pro plan. We can click here to add files or I'm just going to drag and drop here. We have to see one thing that there is a limit of 25 megabytes for the files that we upload. So if I click this book here, which I know is a very large PDF, it's going to show that it has failed because the file size exceeds the 25 megabyte limit. So I'm going to clear this and then bring a file that I know is a little smaller. Here we go. Here is our file. Now, just below this input box in our space, we can see this option. If we click it, we can see that there is a choice to either only use the files or only use the web or use the web and files both. I'm sure all of us have had some time in our life when we were reading class materials or research materials and suddenly we found a term that we are unfamiliar with or concept that requires some additional clarification and then we went into the web to search for the needed information and this entire process has been incorporated into perplexity with this update we can study our related material by uploading the files and search the web for the additional context that we need while studying our given material now there are some features that we should know before using this feature the first is like before, every new question starts a new chat. And that chat will use the sources that are present here for the entirety of the chat. If we come back and change the sources, it will not change the source for that particular chat, only for newer chat. Let's just ask it a question. And here is the answer that is has gathered from the file that I have provided it. Now, if I ask it a question that I know is not there, as you can see, it is reading the file and also searching the web. And it has chosen these answers from the web because this is not a topic that is greatly explained in the file that I have provided it. So here we can see the you know, is searching both the files and the web. Now if you go back to the spaces and then go back to this demo space and change the filter to exclude the web search and then go back into the chat and ask the same question, and I'll just see our anesthesia. We can see that it's still searching the web. This chat was created when we had both the web and the file sources checked. 
So it is always going to check both the files and the web sources. If we want to have a chat that only references the files, then we have to choose the files option here, unclick the web option, and then start a new chat. And it is now only searching the files that you have provided it and not the web. It will always just search the files and not the web. Now, another thing to know is that although I have uploaded a PDF, this is not the only type of file that Perplexible can understand. We can upload PDFs and also Google Docs and PowerPoint. So Perplexity can now use our own sources to answer our questions and embellish those sources with additional information from the web. And Notebook LM can, of course, also parse information from the sources that we provided. And in addition, it can also create these different formats of notes, as as the podcast. I hope this has been helpful to you. For more on Calm and Pleasure for Growth, both online and offline, consider clicking the subscribe and like button and at no extra cost to yourself, get the tools that you like through the links in the description. Have a good day. See you soon.